ma'am. Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. It's really fun to be here. I'm glad you brought me with you, Freddy. I wouldn't want to come without you, Lothar. You're my best buddy. This is turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. Gosh, Luther, I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad too. Is your cousin's ranch very big, Freddy? It's the biggest hogfish ranch in Briny Gulch. Wow! <laughs> one. Don't worry. I've never been to a real ranch before. I can't wait. Neither can I. When I get to be older than you, will I be bigger than you too? Uh, well, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Gee, Luther, you're about the best friend a fish could have. Ah, thanks. You're a great friend, Freddy. Thanks. I like the Wild West. All I need now is a good hat. Did you know that warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water? Huh. Hey, Freddy, how big is a 10-gallon hat anyway? I think it's about as big as you and me put together. But we'll find out when we get there. Gosh, Luther, I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad, too. There's Cousin Calico's ranch. We're going to be ranchers soon. Did you know that warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water?
My buddy and me were swimming once, just a little ways upstream. When a plastic worm with a painted on eye came floating in between. It turned and spin while we both grinned like it was dinner time. But then I got this feeling that we was being fed a line. I hollered, Jake, that worm's a fake. And Jake said, what you mean? I said that I ain't never seen a worm with eyes so green. I told him I ain't never seen a worm with eyes so green. She's mighty good looking, but Carol Katie's cooking is nothing to go on about. I do when a maple sneaks underneath the table, but my dog fence just spins it right out. <laughs> Good boy. Town one day, fresh from Napoli Bay, wrote a mean looking fish with a name I can't say. His face, which was dark, had the eyes of a shark, and his bite I can't tell was much worse than his bark. That's cause he was a trigger fish with jaws of steel. Now I don't mind saying this made us all a little bit nervous, and we kept our distance from this worrisome stranger. So when he asked for one of us simple folk to swim up close and give him a good scratch, again, bet we all turned tail and swam for the hills. Seems the guy had a patch he couldn't quite scratch. He just wanted some help and there wasn't a catch. As he swam off, I wish that we hadn't all ditched, but no one dared get near. The itchy trigger fish. Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Did you see the rustlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Did the rustlers leave any clues? Nope, I'm afraid not. Well, don't worry. We'll find a clue somewhere. Are you sure you didn't see anything when the rustlers came? Yep, but ask around town. Somebody there might have seen something. 
Did the rustlers leave any clues? Nope. I'm afraid not. Well, don't worry. We'll find a clue somewhere. What do you think we should do now, Freddy? Let's look around for clues. Okay. 